Hello everyone, this is just a, a short video how to use a, a solder pot and for what's go good for. Uh, I have now this project where I have to solder 500 LEDs together with this wires in exactly or at least 4 milli 40 millimeter space. So I can't use f uh, uh, strips from, from the shell because they have to less spacing. So I use this standard LED cable. It comes with four colors and I four wires I remove the fourth and use only three. So then I have a 3D printed cutter where I can just cut the parts Okay, after, after cutting I remove the isolation from one end Then I dip it in solder flux And just drip it into the liquid metal For a half second or so After the one side, I do the other side exactly the same. Uh, for me, it works faster to do it in two steps. Uh, the solar pot I use is 80 millimeter in diameter. It's a little bit big. If I would buy it again, I would buy the 50 mil. In fact, they are quite cheap, about 20 bucks. The solder lead is in fact more expensive than the, than the pot. It takes about a few minutes to heat up, uh, so a smaller one be also faster. As you can see it saves you quite a lot amount of time if you need a lot of cables in your project. You should consider getting one of these. When the cables are done I solder them just with, with a regular solder iron on the PCBs. So thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.